How do, boys? What's up ahead there? A little place called Border Town. Day's ride. You got a marshal? Yes, indeed. This Border Town got a bank? Bank? Sure, they got a bank. Say, you boys want some coffee? It's nice and hot. What are you always smiling about? I don't know. You're happy, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. Ah, Denzel, you ruined his vest. You didn't have to kill him. You better learn you don't tell me what to do. Well, we could have just robbed them. Ray, go fetch his horse. Hey. Mama. Get that gun. Partner, you want to be my partner, Lamar? You want to earn that gun? Next time you pull the trigger, you kill the next one. Can I take your horses for you fellas? Yeah, rub them down and feed them. We've got an extra horse. You want to buy it? Sure, I'll go get my brother East the horse buyer. Who's that? Uh, that's Mrs. DeMont. She's our doctor. Is that a fact? <coughs> Can't you do that outside? The idea is to get it outside. <coughs> yeah, but you're getting dust over everything. Look, it's in my coffee. That's because there is dust over everything. That's why I'm cleaning. You know, every time you try and make something better, it usually ends up making it worse. <coughs> it's filthy in here. See? See? I've got eyes. When do we do it, Denzel? When we get rid of the law. That's when.
Lamar, go tell the marshal you came across a cowboy shot dead in the trail. Why me? Because you ain't been with us long enough to get your face up on a poster. Go on, get! condition ain't supposed to feel no pain. <laughs> what can we do for you, son? Good evening. Evening, Marie. Well, can't cut your tongue. I just... I just want to know the way to Fort Benton, Marshal. Stay on that road. Four days that away. Can't miss it. Thank you. Don't I know you? No, sir. I don't believe so, sir. Thanks again, Marshal. Anytime, son. Lamar! Wait! Don't you recognize me? Well, not exactly. I do now, of course. Constable Bennett? Corporal now. Let me take a look at you. You're wearing a gun, Lamar. Man needs a gun? Well, how you been? How's your mother? And what are you doing here? Ma died last winter. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm very sorry. What are we doing standing outside? Let's go into the office. Can't. Lamar, I don't know if your uh, mother ever told you, but when your dad died, I told her I'd look after you. She told me. The offer still stands. I get your job here in Border Town. You Mounties killed my pa. What are you talking about? I found out. You Mounties left them behind, so you could escape, and then the gun runners killed them. And that's not true, and I can prove it. I gotta go. Wait a minute. Listen to me. Lamar! <laughs> I'm starved. Are you sure you don't want a steak, Mr. Dockwell? We can afford it. <laughs> no, thanks, son. You're a happy old man, aren't you? Sure am. Sure is nice of you, boys, to buy old Sam here a beer. He's one of our favorite gents. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandpa, he does. Well, you need nothing else, you just yell, all right? Well, here's to you. You take one sip of that beer, it'll be the last one you ever taste. Put it down. It's not for you. Can't drink that beer here, son. Well, we got money. What you're lacking is age, not money. Mr. Dockweiler, you'd best find yourself some other drinking companions. When are you and your uh, friends planning on staying around here long? Oh, no, sir. No. We're leaving them all. Yeah. We, uh, like the open country better than these towns. Good. Well, you keep your noses clean. You'd be welcome. still doing in town, Lamar? The 
There's a Northwest mounted here, too. I used to know him. You what? When my pa was alive. He used to scout for this guy up in Bow River. They was best friends. We'll sleep in the barn tonight. When the bank opens, we'll take it. Maybe we should try someplace else. Shut up! We'll do as I said. Drag him in there if he was dead. Come on, stay down. Take some shotgun shells. of scared kids shooting wild every which way. Let's hope they run out of ammo. I doubt it. There's lots in my store. What will we do? I don't know. I'll just try and keep them busy until they make a mistake. Joy to fill it full of holes. These your friends? You bet. Your father was the most honest man I ever met. It's very important that you know the truth. Look. I've got the proof for you that we didn't leave your father to die. Look, Lamar, I got it right here. Just 
read it. I can't read. Oh, one of your friends must be able to read. Pretty exciting, huh? Read this, Tobias. Oh, shoot, I can't read. Don't be too friendly with him, Lamar. You gotta kill him later on. Or Denzel will blow a hole in your head. the back of the general stole, Marshal. Good. Don't worry, I just told him to stay put and watch. All right. Now we gotta find a way to get that corporal out of there. Gideon Johnson, my friend, your father. I used to talk about you all the time. Puffed up and proud he was of you, Lamar. All I remember. He's a big man with a soft voice. He used to come home every winter. And then you come in to fetch him in the spring. Oh, hey, we got him. We got to get him a doctor or he's going to die, Denzel. What for? You're going to have to shoot him anyway, Lamar. Hold your fire. For once, Lamar, you've got a good idea. Marshal, can you hear me? I hear you! The lawman here needs the lady doctor bad. We'll hold our fire if you send her over. I'm coming over! Crazy. If it means Dave's life, I have no choice, do I? Marie, stay down! Stay down! Marie! That invitation does not include you, Marshal. Get us four horses here, quick. The lady's offered to see us safely out of town. Let me go! All right, we'll get the horses. There's nothing for you to do here, lady. I came to treat the corporal, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Waste of your time. Uh, never mind that, Marie. But Clive. There's a dispatch on the floor. What dispatch? Here. It's about Lamar's father. Read it to him, Marie. Now. August 14th. 1878. Okay, Lamar, partner. Now's your chance. Finish off the Mountie. Be it known by all it's those present so long with the horses. that on this day, Constable Clive Bennett is awarded the citation for bravery. Come on, Lamar. Put the Mountie out of his misery. In disregard for his personal safety, and in the face of heavy rifle fire, Constable Bennett rescued Scout Gideon Johnson and returned him to safety. Kill him! Signed, Inspector Jesse DeForest. If you want your share of the bank money, you have to pull the trigger, partner. It's over in a minute, Lamar. Yeah, that's it, Lamar. That's it. Kill him! You're crazy. No more, Denzel. I don't hold with letting the corporal die. And I sure don't fancy using a woman as a shield. You've never shot a man in your life, Lamar. And I don't believe you've got the stomach for it now. Drop your guns.
All right, you young bucks. Let's take a little walk across the road. Come on, kid, you two. I have to take a look at his shoulder. Save our lives, Jack. Thank you, young man. Benzo was right. I couldn't bring myself to pull that trigger. That's a virtue. It's not a fault, son. What you did took a lot of courage. Will I have to go to jail? We'll talk to the judge. Tell him what you did. You'll have to spend some time in jail. There's no way to avoid that. Yes, sir. Well, Lamar, when you get out, I'll be here. If you let me, I'd like to help you make a new start. I'm truly sorry your father's not here now. He was right to be proud of you, son. I wish he was here, too. I've wished that for a long, long time. Thank you.